Good evening, everybody, and so nice that you are watching. Welcome to another episode of Nail Talk Live. And tonight, it's all about bridal nails. Even though we are in this pandemic right now, but we still need to declare our love to each other. And maybe we cannot uh, throw huge parties as we would have done, but we still like to have a little a bit of celebration going on on that nail, can't we? So bridal nails are of all times and of all ages. So in this show, we have demos uh, waiting for you, uh, done by our international trainers, of course, uh, going from more simple designs to even more extravagant designs. So before we go to all of those demos, I must say, let's get started. So bridal designs. I think we have all made bridal designs. Um, maybe some nails that were really standing out uh, back in the days when I made. I even made bridal designs uh, using my favorite color, black, because her, her dress was black with a little bit of white. Of course, I am not alone today. Um, on the discussion table, they are sitting as, as they used to, um, Deborah, Sirisa, and of course, Pepine. Welcome. Hi Hello. Hi. So I have a question for you, um, because I already told huh, about those uh, standing out nails that I uh, mentioned earlier. Is that something similar uh, in your salons, maybe? Well, for me, uh, not so much, no. No, more or less, uh, less outstanding nails. Actually, more nudes and white and yeah. Also soft. in the past? No, in the past was extravagant. Yeah. A yeah. lot of stilettos, 3D. Uh, but is there a set of uh, bridal nails that r when you th close your eyes and you think, oh, that comes to mind when you think bridal nails? For me, in the past, what I did. You mean. Yeah. Mm. In your whole career. My whole pool. That's long. Yeah, well, I think the, the most one outstanding one was the one with uh, 10. Uh, 3D white flowers with rhinestones. Oh cool. yeah, yeah. But only did it once, unfortunately. So cool. Yeah, I would love to do that more often, but it's not f not so common anymore. So no, now it's more nude. Yeah, mm. muted. Yeah. yeah. And is there any s particular set that springs to your mind? Lisa? Yes, I think so. It was from uh, one of my colleagues uh, actually. That uh, in that time she was uh, a client for me. And uh, that's, that was the first time that she visited my salon. So it was a very nice set with, uh, with white and gold. And uh, all ten, uh, 10 of the nails were different. And uh, well, it, well, it was a very nice set. And I, I think I was working on it for four or five hours. Oh, like that's that. nothing. No. Oh, my God. It, it, was, it was actually it was a very nice day. Didn't you do a demo day. of this one? Uh, no, I never ago? did a demo. Uh, maybe one of the elements that, yeah, that, that were that on that's that what set, I mean. that's yeah. possible. Okay. But there was a lot. Yeah, a lot, well. uh, but very nice. Yeah, the set that I made that springs to mind, uh, I actually made on the person who taught you to do nails, Sandra. Oh, yes, I of did course. her wedding nails, yeah, and I had to travel true. for two hours to the yeah, north of Holland because okay. that's where she lived. I spent almost 11 hours oh creating God. those nails wow. nice. with Mother of Pearl and everything I could find, but was remotely white. And <laughs> then I had to take the train back home for two hours, wow. and then I couldn't get home because <laughs> the buses didn't drive anymore. <laughs> so oh it, it, it took another one and a half hours before M Rick came to get me. Oh so wow. that was the moment that I promised myself never to Again. do those types of wedding nails. And when no. I have a renewal? We didn't do that. If I have a, new, a renewal, oh, please a wedding do my renewal. nails, yes. Yes, but you love nude. No, you can you can go all the way. Oh, well, then oh, I go all the way Then you the can nude. go all the way. Oh, no problem, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's very short, nude, natural nails, but with a little shimmering half moon. But if you want to make stilettos, you can. No. Oh, yeah. okay. I oh. don't feel obliged. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nude and short is the way to go. Okay. As we see in our first demo, I believe, ah, Jessica. True. Yeah, that's true. Because most brides uh, tend to go to extremely natural nails and maybe just some hidden shimmer. In, and that's it. Because it's all about the dress. huh? And the nails are just the... Uh, um, dot on the eye. So, Noemi Iba uh, from uh, Sardinia is uh, going to show you how to make a 
beautiful classic nail. So let's go have a look. Yes, it is go this is going to be a great design. This is the frosted pink um, uh, rubber base. And uh, she used it as an ad adhesion layer yeah, on so the, the natural nail. Step. Yeah, that's the very first step. It's a beautiful color, eh? Yeah, yeah well, I love it. Yeah. It's, it's the best uh, in the rubber base collection. Yeah, I agree. I agree too. Yeah. And yeah. it's very yeah. nice Absolutely. because uh, when you use uh, this color, it also uh, uh, can, be, uh, can help your design or can help the products uh, that she's going to use to be nice and pink. Mm. Instead yes, of uh, using so clear. it optimizes the color of the nail bed. Thank you. Yeah. It yeah. really makes a big color difference between the whitish yeah. free edge and then the pink mm. of True. the natural nail yeah. without it being opaque. Yeah, and, that's and, why. And yeah. yeah, that's why. So I prefer this color, especially yeah. in this design. And this is the Power Gel Sparkling White. And actually, this is not a, a, a white uh, Power Gel with sparkle. This is a clear Power Gel with white sparkles in it. Yeah. yeah. So it's a little bit transparent also. It's very nice. Soft uh, color, yeah. soft and color. Ideal yes. for for the bridal it's season. Perfect, of course. perfect. Yeah. And it's uh, uh, a very nice. Uh, you can. Um, uh, yeah, how can I say that? Uh, the structure is very nice from this gel because it's a little bit stiff because stiff, of yeah. the uh, particles. Layers. Yes, so it's very nice. Better to, to modulate also. Yeah. So this is the um, the extension. And now she's going to use the uh, warm pink uh, rubber base. And she's going to blend the warm pink over the um, white sparkling. So this is again gel. an example of how you can use different products yes. together. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she's now going to the warm pink, and she's covering everything. Yeah, to she's make covering a baby everything. Boom -ish she nail. make. She's gonna make a little bit of a baby boom, and then in the non-filing technique, actually. Perfect. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah, true. So every color has its own uh, purpose in this nail. Yeah. Uh, this is also the warm. Uh, Warm camouflage. Yeah, second layer. Yeah, and she didn't cure the first layer. She, she didn't? Used the, no, no, no. Okay. I, I almost think, I almost know for yeah, sure. She's that using the, b the base layer of the warm pink to help this. To massage level it over yeah, it. Level. And level yeah. out. Okay. Yeah, so it's spreading uh, she's very easily. She's using the detailer three, three, three at the yes. step. Yes, yeah. Detailer three is perfect. Yes, I think also because you can apply a little bit more yeah. force yeah. or pressure around the yeah. cuticle. That's true. Good idea. Because this is uh, uh, a nail with an elongation, it's not a natural nail, so it's better to use a little bit like a bigger brush than uh, just Jessica's choice or Papaya's yeah. choice. So she's blending the color. Um, and this has now enough resilience and uh, to be durable? Yes, of course. Yeah. I'm almost sure. Yeah, of course, I'm sure. Because you have power gel in the elongation. Yeah, it's strong enough. And yeah. yeah. So this would is you very nice. Would you pinch it at that oh point? My. See? It's oh very no, nice. No, it's Beautiful. already done. Oh wow, great. Yeah, I think this is not very natural for a baby boom. Yeah. Now this is the non-filing technique. It's very nice and uh, it's, f it's a very uh, ideal way to make a baby boom because she didn't need to file. And uh, with a baby boom, the uh, most different uh, uh, step is filing because when you file too much, your baby boom is gone. So yeah, it's I think it's actually very great. Yeah, and it's like a very this. nice and neutral nail. Yeah. Yeah. Because, of yeah. course, that brings uh, to mind a different discussion. How do you decide which nails are the most appropriate for the bride in coming to your salon? Mm -hmm. Are you really going to have a look at, for instance, a photo of the dress? Two? Or, yeah. for instance, um, looking a at mood the board of the, of the wedding schedule? Yeah, and look at the That's person it. herself, of course, mm -hmm. and uh, ask what she wants, because yep. there are also a lot of differences in that. But true. Yeah, you need to combine all those elements to make the best bridal nail. Yeah. yeah, that's very important. I remember that you actually did for a wedding renewal of one of your colleagues. You were really inspired by the dress. Yeah. You actually mimicked the pattern. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's, <laughs> that's a bride, some kind of a bride, and she is really in control. She wants to be really in control. So uh, this started already one year before to create these nails. But can you imagine? But uh, she's like that. I know my. I know her. And she's a nail tech. Also, and she's right? a nail tech as well. Ah, so yeah. she she know exactly what she wants. Uh, but she trusts me. So uh, <laughs> I saw all the fabrics that dress uh, dresses that uh, she likes. So she took all kind of materials mm -hmm. and uh, photos from the dress and uh, things that inspired her uh, from other nail stylists or uh, uh, pieces of fabric, uh, even the pictures yeah. and yeah, the and lace design in it. And then uh, the, uh, the, uh, the design was very easy, but sh uh, yeah, she gave it a lot of thoughts. Yeah. 
And it was very beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. It, yeah, it was nice a very and elegant. soft, yeah. elegant design. Yeah. How do you um, do? You also cater to the whole wedding entourage, so the husband. Yes, perhaps of course. The, the I always asked the the uh, ladies who are going to marry to uh, bring in their husband, their uh, almost future, hu yeah. future <laughs> husband. Yeah, to do a man manicure, so uh, that their hands look very nice. And to when you put on a ring and you make this photo moment with the both ha both hands. You need to have nice nails for your husband too, because yeah. if you don't do that, and you have gorgeous hands and nails, and your husband is like, "Oh my God, you won't, you don't want it." So always ask your client if she wants to bring her husband, just uh, maybe two days in front of the wedding. Yeah. How much time before the actual wedding does the whole whole Circus conception start. and the surface start? Of course, in this case that we yeah, just it mentioned, depends it on the bride. Year. Yeah, of yeah. course. But for instance, if we take a new client, so mm -hmm. she doesn't have anything on her nails, and she just wants to have beautiful nails for the wedding, mm -hmm. because of course uh, that photo moment. Yeah. So what would be the advice? How would we handle this? Uh, yeah. Well, it uh, depends a little bit on the bride, and you have to look your uh, to your schedule uh, if you have the time for bridal nails, and that depends on what kind of set do you want to make for that bride, and you can um, you can make a, a, a trial set. Uh, before, so uh, she knows exactly what she's going to uh, what she's going to get on her nails, and maybe she don't like some parts of your uh, uh, design. Of your design, and then you can yeah fix it together with her. Then she know exactly that is the right way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just came to realize that if we do that, then her husband sees the nails yeah. for three weeks. Yeah. But her husband, it's a different day. Yeah, but do you, uh, for instance, maybe if you are uh, like with Penny, yeah, as you uh, yeah. mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. uh, you made a beautiful, um, sim simple, uh, the, um, yeah. uh, the simple same thing said on the reverse. Yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> but maybe without the art, just uh, the shape and the length, yeah. just to, yeah, to that get that that's feeling. That's important. Yeah, that's okay. important. And that's on the day it. self, or, well, maybe not. I do maybe two days uh, up front before the wedding. Yeah. I yeah. do the real set. Yeah. yeah. Never the day before no. the wedding, oh, that's because so stressy. No. brides are like, <laughs> well, not bridezillas, but <laughs> they're really like, woo, yeah. nervous. <laughs> and uh, and <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe they break a nail or something. And if they do, you can still fix uh, the day um, before the wedding. That's true. So without the nail art, just a set, just get the feeling, the length, and yeah. then uh, that is the, 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 the first set that you do. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. exactly. I, I think that's always the way. did the, the nails actually the day before. Yeah, but the you do? my clients were of course nail technicians that went to yeah. get married. That's oh. different. And they that's wanted to have thing. everything. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. And sometimes it was even the most extravagant thing of yeah. the whole, yeah. whole day yeah. was a set of nails. nails. Of course, <laughs> yeah. I think that would be the same for me too. Yeah. I cannot imagine how those nails would. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's her we'll wedding day every week. <laughs> 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 yeah. We'll get into Almost. that a little bit later. I think Jessica has another demo ready for us. Yeah, yeah, I do, Pepijn. Because the next demo is from um, our dear Albina Maria from Spain, of course. And uh, Maria is showing us, because some brides uh, only want one accent nail, as we call it. And sh Albina is showing us how to get that love onto that nail. And Deborah is going to walk us through. Yeah, so she's already polished the nail with the enjoying nature, and now she's putting some extreme mud over it. Beautiful color. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Really soft, too. Mm -hmm. Now she's going to use some gel stone gel. And the put. How do you pronounce this? Pulcinella. Pulcinella, okay. Pulcinella that's glitter gel polish yeah. from the Bal Masque, of course. Oh, right, of course. Pulcinella is one of the characters from the Commedia dell'arte. Dell'arte. <laughs> right. <laughs> So yeah, you're a me. big fan. I know, I know. She's going to make a little 3D design and she's going to paint on some letters. Yeah, so she's going to create... Oh, I see an L. What's the o. word, I think? L-O-V-E. Yes. That's going to be so great. I really love it. It's almost like a paste. It is. When yeah. you see it. Yeah. yeah. So for my reference, she mixed the color with the uh, gemstone gel. Yes, to make and it thicker. And that creates a ton sur ton really? lettering. Yeah, yeah it nice. does. So you see the effect, but you still have almost the same color. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. 
And it stays in place like this. Absolutely. Yeah, and true. it's soft. It's not like a humby, lumpy uh, letters. You if know you go and this high only with gel, it's very she cures in between and to be able to build it up higher? Yeah, I think she does. Because otherwise it will be a, like a flat pancake. Or when flash you cure. Yeah. yeah, flash cure. Flash cure is love the flash cure. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. love two fla flash cures. That's we all flash cure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so <laughs> now the nail is really in love. Yeah. She's going to highlight some more. Ooh, this would be cool in black. Oh yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> or neon. <laughs> neon, or neon letters. Yeah. Mm, with some pigments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And some rhinestones. <laughs> <laughs> of course, a rhinestone, big rhinestone in the in the in the O. I think that if you make something like this, that it's important also to check it from the side view. Yes. To make sure that the lettering is even. Even high. Same. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. They need to and be that the same there are, are not small areas that you can get stuck behind no. yeah. with your Little beautiful pointy, wedding dress. Uh, oh, that would be something. Then and you, you can decide for yourself uh, how high you want to have the of letters. Of course, yeah, you can make them so. just like a centimeter, but that would be too much. Well, not for everybody. No, I know some people. Yeah, a borderline, <laughs> yeah. a twilight zone without twilight. <laughs> <laughs> be yeah, careful it's just not to put accent. this too close to the cuticle. Huh? Uh -huh. No. Yeah. That's a nice effect. Yeah. yeah. It just finishes it. Yeah, it's also, uh, in a way, a little bit like a tough design. Like, like this is not for the very soft no. No. people. This is for people with an attitude. Yeah. Well, I would put this design on the finger where they're going to put the ring on. Yeah, of course. It would yeah. be yeah. Yeah. the letters are yeah, not I too high. Choose that yeah. finger. This is Pulcinella. Uh-huh. Yeah. Pulcinella. <laughs> okay. I will never forget that now anymore. And this is maybe more for a bride, like a uh, festival bride, do you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like with a little yeah. Um, yeah, soft dress and maybe bare feet and then do like, like a this pizza on her bride. Nails. Yeah. Let's stay in the wedding team, not the vacation team. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, but we all. But it's similar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Too. I, I, I feel mm -hmm. the vibe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're in the mood because the weather over here now today is. Yeah, it is, huh? So yeah. the gel polish is really covering it. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. You don't need a thick layer. And, and the detail tree is perfect for everything. And then I would wha have uh, like a platinum ring. If you have a golden ring, I would use a different color. <laughs> yeah. To make the glitter with the or jolly. white gold. The or jolly. white gold, of <laughs> course, but not a gold. You really go all the way with your platinum. Of course. Ah. Of course. Yes. <laughs> I'm pulling it the way through. White <laughs> diamonds. <laughs> we are getting there. Yeah, uh, I even uh, did uh, that yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love nice. it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's not too I much. I think it's for doable. Me. Also. I don't think it's too much. I really love it. Yeah. Yeah, I did that too because my uh, dress was gold. I had a gold wedding dress, and I am not a gold girl, but I even uh, went th that far to have a golden wedding exactly. uh, band. Yeah, mm. yeah, I did that too. So, um, and then I uh, regretted it. <laughs> but now <laughs> I have a tattoo on my finger and my ring is gone. So you do um, need a renewal too then, yes? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Albina uh, uh, worked with a beautiful color from our um, Jumping Into Spring collection. Uh, a beautiful color, enjoying nature, of course. So, um, well, let's go have a look at that beautiful commercial. <laughs> beautiful colors and still even now spot on trend because nowadays those pastels perfect so perfect colors for perfect beautiful spring days um, before we go to the further demos that are still waiting for you we need to go to Sylvana with her socials I'm back and this time my socials are about wedding nails so a lot of girls are dreaming of a big wedding and stuff but first you have to get engaged 
Uh, so a lot of clients are telling me like my nails have to be perfect when I'm when he asked me to marry him. And I agree with that because you don't want to look uh, your nails to look like this. No, no, that's not how we want it. So I found a story about a woman and uh, his uh, her boyfriend asked her to marry her. And the picture looked like this. So you think, well, very sweet, so nice, but it looks good, right? But her nails weren't done, so her friend saved her proposal picture. Look, it's so smart, but it's better to get your nails done before you get engaged. So tell your boyfriend, like, you have to keep in contact with my nail artist. So that's so important. It's a very fun story. I'll be back you to you later. <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Um, Pepijn, I think you are going to tell us something about maybe some new products, huh? Yes, this up and coming weekend, we're going to launch all new products within the magnetic range. And uh, yeah, we love new yes. products. New products yes. are part of my life. Actually, my whole life revolves around new products. And we have beautiful new collections coming out. We have six new glass gel polishes, but we ha also have four beautiful neon pastels. And these are called the Juicy Foods. Oh, I love those bright neon colors, don't you? So, uh, speaking of brights, maybe not a mu uh, much brights are choosing those bright neon colors, but more than more uh, soft tone colors, like nude colors, and maybe some floral designs, of course. So, Katarina is next up with her demo, and she's going to show us how to make a beautiful design, but she is using frosted pink over that design to give it more, yeah, more dimension or even more mysterious. So let's go have a look and I will walk you through. So she is using a beautiful color, Mind Your Mint. That's a really soft and really trend color for now. And yeah, let's give that background some color. And I really love this design and she's going to make uh, one stroke designs and she's awesome doing those one, sh one stroke technique. So covering that beautiful layer, mind your mint, with the extreme up top. Love the color. Yeah. And she's really combining. So she's doing a bit of air nails and a bit of uh, one stroke uh, using gels. So first the air nails, the vertical ombre. And she's uh, spraying with a nude color, but it's a covering color. And just from one side, spray that nude. And at first I thought, okay, that's a... An unusual color. Yeah, yeah it is, yeah. but nice. But at the end result, you will understand why. And that green needs to be there. Because the end result is more nude-like and soft. Looks a bit golden or champagne yeah, yeah. color. Yeah, that's cool, yeah. huh? So, liner gel, and now that one stroke magic and she's using liner gel white and i believe well in the papers they say yellow is yellow but i don't think it's yellow no i don't think so it's a bit no. coral yeah it's a different color but it's gel polish liner gel white on top and a gel polish color mm -hmm. so the petals and she's just going uh with that one stroke design over the spray over the uh, annuals paint. Um, if you are a bit afraid to make some one strokes <laughs> that are perfect, maybe <laughs> <laughs> do what's up in between and then go over yeah. with the one stroke. I yes, would do I that. I would do that. that. <laughs> it's not sealed. Though. No, it's not no. sealed. Oh my, and of course she can. That. She no. can make beautiful and knows what she's doing. So, But can you imagine okay. a one stroke design with gel polish? Then the gel polish has to be 
really good. Yeah. 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 Really highly yeah. recommended. Yeah. It's Mace Choice 2019. Mace Choice? Yeah. Mace Choice. Yeah. Mace Choice. Oh, really? Oh, and it's really nice. more coral now. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Absolutely. A good choice. So, and then more, more petals. So, and this is the yellowish yellow, I think. Oh, yeah. 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 For the little leaves, of course, flowers need leaves. A little bit of green, green is also, also on her yeah. brush. And look at In that. Short, it's just, just a beautiful, chuk chuk. a little bit vintage. Nice. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. And she is colors, working eh? um, nice. to make this flower more a muted effect. And she's creating this curing everything again. And then the pink fiber, frosted pink. And then covering over so that green gets more nude, more pinky. And because it's more covered. It's in depth now. Yeah. yeah. It, this so is very adventurous. The flowers disappear, yeah. you think. But now she's going to highlight or more uh, go over um, already made flowers again with that same mixture, mm -hmm. but not all the flower. So just a few petals. I really love this. So first remove with prep and wipe the sticky layer, of course. And then she's going further with that one stroke magic. And now you have one petal really on the on the surface of the nail mm -hmm. and the next petal really down. And it's really so a it looks like it comes through the gel. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. I yeah. really it's love great. this. And I don't of know course, if I would dare this, but it is. Yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to figure it out. I think. And now she's making yeah, just true. some extra details, uh, a bit of baroque like swirls. And that is really, really a beautiful design. Don't you agree? Yeah. Absolutely. And all done with the detail in number three. Now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you can do so many things with that. Yeah, with you have brush. Brush. I can't live without the detail in three. Absolutely. Yeah, the flower is really a part of the nail now. It's yeah, really in it there. Is, it is. Look at that. Ta da! Oh, and then ten nails like that. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh. yes. Yeah, I would wear that. And it's really a bridal design. Like Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Great. I love it. I really love this because it's really a muted uh, design like this. So really more depth in it. Uh? So fiber coats are really multifunctional. Don't you agree? I think we do. Uh. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But sometimes perhaps even uh, you at home watching us, we get lost in between what is the differences between a rubber base, a yeah. fiber coat, absolutely. a building base. Mm -hmm. So what makes fiber coat so unique? Uh, I think it's really uh, uh, a gel that you can build with, uh, and it's in a bottle. So uh, it levels, but uh, it needs a little bit of time to level. So you can really build up uh, your nail. So in, I think in this design, uh, it's really the thickness of that layer that makes it more special, even more special, because you have really a layer in between it. Mm -hmm. so, so not only the color, but it's also... It's a little bit thicker than yeah. uh, the yeah. comparable rubber base frosted pink. Yeah. Yes. Of By course, fiber particles are also added to it, which mm -hmm. makes it a little bit, perhaps, a little bit more cloudy. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It softens the surface more because of that. So you can see the little fiber particles in it, so that really makes the surface m more special. Yeah. Yeah. And we have different colors. Huh? I think the frosted pink is, is by far it's the favorite. Very nice. Absolutely. Very nice. But yeah. also we have the of course white, which is very suitable for baby yeah. boom. Yeah. 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 Very and nice. And we have a natural white that you can also use in combination with the frosted mm -hmm. pink to make it even more misty. Yeah. 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 True. Misty fields of love. <laughs> and we're back to flowers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Very good, Pepin. <laughs> because our next demo is again about flowers. And our next demo is going to uh, be Elena. And Elena. Kalashtuk is uh, from Italy, of course, and she is showing us how to make beautiful uh, flowers. And Serisa is going to tell you what she is doing. Elena is going to use the gel polish Unforgettable. It's a very nice, uh, like nude pink kind of color. Very nice for brides. Yeah, it has yeah. A, little it is. a little purple flea in yeah, it. Yeah, true, mm. true. Um, uh, Unforgettable has a, a little bit flea. like a purple. Yeah, you know what uh, I mean. Uh, you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the little sheen. Yeah. And <laughs> even in one uh, in one coat, it's almost uh, covering. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Covering. And this is the gel polish Unforgettable. It's really high pigmented, so that's very nice. Uh, a little bit, a little drops of the uh, sheltering love. She put on the nail in the uh, on top layer? of the sticky layer. Okay. 
And now she's flattening a little bit her uh, uh, detailer tree. Yeah. So that she, then she can create an ombre with it. And it don't have to be perfect. So just a little bit spreading it out. Okay. These are the metal flakes. Yeah. And I think, I think <laughs> this is in the uh, sticky, sticky layer, layer. But it can yeah, be also a wet layer. Yeah. Can be. But yeah. if you apply it in the wet layer, you have to be a little bit s softer yes, in your Yes, that's movement. true. That's yeah. true. She's really pushing it in there. True. Wet layer, you just have to yeah. dribble it in. A there. little bit. Okay, uh, the mud top. Liner white? I think, yeah. yeah. The liner white, she's put a, li a little bit of liner white on a paper palette. What and would we do without liner white? Oh my Nothing. god, I don't know. And if you've never tried must. liner white, it's an absolute must yeah. to yeah. True. use <laughs> yes. liner white. Yes. Yes. And yes. also the extreme mud top, yeah, that's yeah. True. so gorgeous. Uh, these two colors, she's blending on her brush, on her uh, one-stroke brush to create a nice one-stroke flower. And uh, now the background is very interesting uh, because uh, it's part of the flower. So okay. So uh, that sheltering love is more like the shade underneath. Yeah, yeah and true. the heart of the flowers. flowers. Yeah, the flower is becoming uh, a little bit pink now. Yeah, they also because a of the liner white. Disappear into true. the background. Yeah, yeah. true. Look Makes at it that. almost a porcelain-ish. Very nice. Yeah, Good job. true. And now she putting uh, she put a little uh, baroque details uh, on the flower Ornaments. to make it an. Yeah. A whole design. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. And it Very and nice. It, uh, it almost disappears. Huh? The, yeah. The, the, the this is part of the flower, yeah. actually, not just but the background. But it needs to be very there. Very nice. And this is also very nice. Oh, uh, yeah. She's now just topping it off. Yeah. Super. And the best thing is yet to come because oh. she can rhinestones. She can put a <laughs> rhinestone, but <laughs> this is the way I think it's the best. With a little bit of, uh, let me see, ultra top gel little bit more of the metal flakes in it and then a little bit of top gel extra to create her own gemstone gemstone in the center of the flower yeah. that's always so great this is to do. better <laughs> so this is even better than a rhinestone because a rhinestone is really on top of the nail and this is going to be uh, in part the of the design yeah. so and you create you can create your own uh, uh, yeah jewel in the center of the flower so I think that's, yeah. Yeah. that's always yeah. great and to, what do. to do. What this yeah. also proves is that you don't have to go all white and all nude. No, 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 no. use your colors. colors. Sheltering love gives it such yeah. an extra dimension. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, true. And with the white highlights from the flowers, it yeah. just yeah. makes it very off. nice. Yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah, cool. I love great. it. Yeah, I'm also uh, I'm almost speechless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Go back to yes. Yes, I agree, Pepijn. So this is more a, a romantic uh, mood eh, on the nail. But there are some brides who need more drama on the nail, more extravaganza. So Asta from El Belfast is showing you uh, a design for those special clients. And Deborah is going to walk you through. Yes, yeah, so she already put some uh, nail plate extender on the nail on the nail plate, and now she's going to use the liner gel silver, and that's a very nice gel and a very pigmented gel. So you only need one stroke of it to color the whole surface. Liquid silver. Yeah, it's yeah, liquid. Si it contains real silver. Yeah, it's perfect and oh. very shiny. So she makes makes a nice swirlish swirlish thing. thingy on the nail. And now she's going to accent the lines of it with the liner white gel. And I really love this design. Maybe it's for some people it's a little bit too much. For, for me, I think, yeah, that now we get started. Oh, I remember <laughs> the Asta's design with the rhinestones oh, from last year. Oh, very nice. Oh, yeah. And her technique, can you see just a sure. one yeah. sweep? Yeah, one white sweep line. and the line yeah. is on. Yeah, I love it. And would this would be the mud, I think. <coughs> Just evening Capping out it. the whole surface, yeah. making sure that there are no lumps and bumps. Continuing with the liner white. That's not a mud, it was the Supreme, I think. And making another swirl. On a shiny background. Yeah, of course. And yeah. the liner is stays on yeah. in its place. Very yeah. good. Special. And a shorter brush. So yeah. This is yeah. Jessica's choice. It's better to make the swirl. Yeah. It's easier to turn the point. I agree. Well, according to Jessica, it's better for everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, but it's true in this matter. I it also is. agree. It is. Yours is great to make the long lines. Yeah. I love these. 
So this is more going to be ornamental. Yeah, absolutely. Not yeah, really. But no, not too soft and not too too. Le when you're not used to getting things on your nail, you won't do this. Yeah. There won't would be too much, or you won't say, "Well, I'm getting married once in my life. Yeah. yeah. Now we're going to make it happen." And is it a mix from that. the liner gel and the sweeties, or is, did she mix something? Well, doesn't know. Well, I think it would it's be a possibility, of course. Uh, yeah, that make, I that think makes so. it a little bit easier to yeah, draw all the why. circular movements. And also, yeah. the surface won't be that sticky. Yeah, because true. the liner it always is a bit sticky after Yeah, but curing. you could uh, remove those with Of course, but when you don't. Ooh, oh that nice. is a cabochon uh, yeah. opal. Did I ever tell you where it comes from? No. Well, it actually, it's grown in a laboratory for over 12 months before we can polish and buff it to create these beautiful opals. Okay, and is that so hand nice. done? Well, it's not hand on, but it's a uh, laboratory uh, done, done by pressure and temperature. Oh, okay. So it really synthetic has to grow for 12 uh, months. Wow. It's a synthetic opal. Yeah, Real nice. opal would be very expensive. expensive. So wh when the progress is done, it doesn't grow anymore. Oh, look at that. No, th then they start to polish it. <laughs> oh, Perfect. look at that wow. set. Oh, oh my beautiful. God. Beautiful. Oh, I'm shocked. Yes. Oh, nice. We're in. Eh? Well, yes. I want to get married again. Really? Well, well your renewal. Ask Rick. Oh well, this mm. year is going to be my tenth year a anniversary. anniversary. Wow. wow, big cake! I'm You're going always to bake it one for you. year before <laughs> me. Eh? One year, oh yeah, yeah one year. But we, we yeah. will stay that way yeah. until we. When you continue. <laughs> yeah. Ah, beautiful nail. Nice yeah, design. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, really. I would wear it. Me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I do think that the opal, of course, is a finishing touch. Of course. True. And I just yeah. want to punctuate that because the beautiful capuchon effect. That those opals are actually also used in jewels. Mm -hmm. They're, they're really the opals that you, when nice. you buy a, a necklace of opal, mm -hmm. most of the time these opals are used. Yeah. So tell your client because that makes it extra, extra, extra special. Yeah, that's true. Um, I think that we go to inspiration for brides from Silvana. I'm back and I have some other bridal nails to show you for inspiration. Well, it's nice, but I don't want to wear it. No. Very tiny, sparkly things. So, so beautiful. With a 3D flower. Very pretty. If you have your wedding dress also with flowers, it's a good combination. Or you can go for a baby boom. That's also very pretty, very subtle. So, Sris and Deborah, uh, how do you uh, nails look like when you are going to marry or when you did marry? Yeah, my nails, they were uh, uh, you know, very natural, not too long, but uh, also not short. And uh, with a little uh, design, a baroque design uh, with mother of pearl, uh, because I was wearing a dress, uh, a mother of pearl dress yeah. like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, so well actually very... Very soft. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. And you are not married, but um, if you would get married... Yeah, I'm not married and I don't think it's ever going to happen, <laughs> but that's why I'm always uh, wearing the nails that I can marry every day. So, yeah. it's time to marry. Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> I yeah. do think it's difficult to find a dress fitting those <laughs> <feet>. <laughs> 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 no, But you know, you have um, certain, uh, in England, you have the, the, from the, how do you call it, uh, trailers? Yeah, the gypsy wedding. Yeah, the gypsy uh -huh, weddings. Gypsies, yeah. And always when I see those <laughs> dresses, I think, oh my God, dress. I really <laughs> love it. I really <laughs> love them. All those straws and rhinestones. And with built and on in lightning. Of course. So <laughs> that when you put yourself, pluck yes. yourself in, you're no. just shining <laughs> yes. like a star. Yeah. You are. Yeah, yes. Okay, we are there on your <laughs> wedding. Yeah. Yeah, We're yeah, going to go there. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see that. We it's going to, to be a that. big party. Okay, let's go back to Silvana. When I'm gonna marry, I want my nails like very short and with a little bit of crystal on it. So I have more. Very sweet with the pearls, also with white details. A little bit different. French, so pre pretty. Detail with a little heart. I love this one. It's so natural, so elegant. So pretty with a white color or maybe a little pink color. So this was your daily doses of inspiration. Or do we call it inspiration? I'll see you next week. Thank you, Silvana. So, uh, well, let's talk about my own nails for my wedding. Uh, for about 16 already years ago, I got married and I went all the way. I had, well, in those days, glass tips. 
and I covered it with uh, various uh, gold and uh, pearls, of course, and uh, Strass elements. And I was like, look at my nails. And of course, everybody um, was standing in line to congratulate us as a couple. And everybody went berserk over my golden dress. And I was like, okay, my nails, hello. <laughs> so much work <laughs> on it. So uh, let's go uh, to our last demo. And the last demo is going all the way out. out. And uh, Julia is um, um, uh, working with a beautiful product of us, the cat eye. And first, we are going to see that commercial. And then the last demo is waiting for you. beautiful cat eye collection, a beautiful commercial. So I told you before, um, Julia is going to work with, among other things, the cat eye. So Julia is going to uh, show us that anything goes into the bridal nail. So uh, let's go have a look and I will walk you through. So first, let's give that nail some beautiful color. And she's using the Bloody Mary, a really bright, bright red color. And yeah, just covering that beautiful nail. An and extravagant choice for a yeah, bridal yeah. nail. Yeah, but mm -hmm. after uh, curing, she is creating her own twilight zone, as I yeah. call it, by uh, using the ombre tool and just liner gel. And that gives it more, yeah, a mysterious, darker yeah. feeling like that. So in the middle, in the center, it's really bright because of that uh, Bloody Mary. And now she's um, going with liner gel black and filling that stamping plaque ornaments. And stamping clear so you can see really uh, perfect where you are stamping. And going over that extreme top gel. And now that cat eye. Just um, a circle, an oval, and then with a, a magnet, and just creating uh, a line in that oval. And what is she going to make? What is it going to be? She's creating a kind of peony-like, well, she's famous for huh? Yeah. She yeah. makes beautiful uh, <laughs> peony-like uh, beautiful flowers. And she's staying within the, um, yeah. let's call it frame? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's kind of like a frame. And now she's uh, creating petals using the Detailer 3. You and really, um, well, yeah, you already nice, see the line. giving yeah. pressure. Yeah. So the color concentrates, so these are your favorites. Huh? Oh, they, those are my favorites. Really. <laughs> yeah, yellow, blue, yeah. and red. And the extreme up top, and she's mixing and going and giving color uh, to those uh, be uh, beautiful peony. And she loves to mix. Yeah, yeah. she Everything. is really yeah, all nice. about mixing and giving shade and, and just the center of the peony. And again, the detailer three, yeah? Yeah. Now it also ties in a little bit more because yeah. it's not so bright, bright one. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. And she is really about mixing uh, different kind of products, but also layering. And you are yeah. seeing this uh, in the end results. She's but really make a layering. Make mental note that she cures in between yeah. the steps. Yeah. 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 Fresh that is important. really <laughs> important. Yeah. Important. Yeah. So That's I a new wouldn't thing. even do yeah. fresh cure. But the ornament's going to be like a tail from the flower. And just yeah. with the tip of that brush, just chuk, chuk, chuk. Those little yeah. hairs in yeah. the middle of that uh, flower. And again, a few drops of the blue into that mixture to get that 
uh, a little brownish tone. You have toner. to know a little bit about how colors work. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah you do. Absolutely. You need to know the colors. You cannot throw everything together because that's the most difficult thing. And now little thing. leaves who uh, grow. Um, that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And you think she's done, but she is not. And I really, when I uh, saw this, um, this demo up front, I really was thinking during, along the way I was uh, looking, okay, if this was my flower, I will be done. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah, it sure. is a mistake. And it, it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful end result. It's now a little bit more vintage. Yeah. yeah. Softer, more. So she's really layering on top, oh, on top, on green. top. Curing in between. Yeah, and, and the mix that you put over it. Yeah. 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 And she's working uh, towards more lighter every petal is going to yeah, be Yeah, it's more highlighting yeah. on top. Yeah. Yeah. I always wonder, uh, does she really work f following a, a certain process or is it just What comes going up in her head. Just <laughs> random. Yeah. I think just both feeling ways. it. Yeah. 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 She's seeing it. Yeah. Because yeah. It's, it's, it's then a little bit here, then yeah. there. Then yeah. 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 So now the top gel. So this is uh, a non-sticky layer. High shine top gel. This and then it's wetter. Yeah. Look at this. Beautiful bullions. Nice, yeah. So now it's really like a, a brooch kind of feeling. So those beautiful inlaid diamonds, those are the rose golds. And again, the annual top gel. I wouldn't do that with the top gel. No. I would go for the gemstone. But she, you need to work fast. Uh, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's that's because thing, it's eh? more thinner. It's a yeah. thinner yeah. top gel. Or use the flex and shine. Yeah, of course you use the <laughs> flex and shine. <laughs> 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 so creating some shade underneath those beautiful uh, diamonds, inlay diamonds, and of course bullions, and create a jewel onto that nail. And, and it's, it's very really classic. It's a very yeah. classic yes, nail. Yes, it is. Yeah, love but it. It looks like an old grandma first ring. First color you know? that yeah. Bloody Mary yeah. needs to be there yeah, true. because that is what gives light to the design. Don't hey, you yes, agree? and did together with a uh, with a black wedding dress. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. A red wedding dress and red lips. Yeah, with black ah. roses. <laughs> with and black of course, roses. this layer is is to yeah. seal yeah. in all of those um, roses, elements. Bridal bouquet. And of course, Ooh. one layer, one ball to make it so more round. Vampire. I, if I see this, I think you can make a ring out of this. Nice, ring. beautiful. Absolutely. <laughs> I think if she wants to have another career, then she's going to be a, a jeweler, jeweler designer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But to make this, you you have look to at feel this. it. Look at this. Yeah. yeah it's, it, it, it's I thought she was done, but uh, she's yeah. not done. She, she feels something, more and then she's going to react depth. on it. But yeah, then and because of those layers in between, on top of the clear layer, yeah. So yeah. you get more yeah. depth. Yeah. yeah, and then again, yeah, and this one, this layer is a little bit rounder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, Our beautiful, yeah. beautiful, huh? Yeah, beautiful. beautiful. I love it. Also. I really love it. Yeah. Oh. Look at this. Yeah, it's, it's very gorgeous, actually. Yeah. Well, wasn't that a real stunner of a nail? I mean, going from very natural to this as a bridal design, that proves that nails give you endless possibilities. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Our team theme, our theme of next week mm -hmm. is natural nails. Natural looking nails in all its diversity. And I'm joined here by somebody, <laughs> of course, who loves natural nails love and it. somebody that doesn't really love the look of the no. natural nail. So it's going to be an exciting love show. Love and hate. <laughs> yeah, a love and hate show. I personally, nothing beats a perfect natural nail. Yeah. Even if it's only the foundation for the perfect modern almond nail. Uh, that's true. Yes, that's it's yeah. true. Huh? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I so have to be uh, <laughs> on, your on your team there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so see you next week. For it's all about natural nails. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Yes, of course, we will see you hopefully next week again. But do not forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel, Magnetic Nail Talk. Uh, find us, subscribe, uh, thumbs up and put on your notifications, of course. And do not forget our new products. We have loads of new beautiful stuff coming out and you will fall in love as we all did. Um, of course, I want to thank you for watching and I hope uh, you got inspired um, by all of the beautiful demos that were shown by our international trainers. And um, we'll see, we'll hope to see you next week again. Please stay safe, uh, take care of course, and this month it's all about gels. And that is the commercial that we are going to sign off with and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.